Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is KTMX. Now, last time I made a comparison between Bluestacks and Beta and Nox. And as the Bluestacks N stable version has released, I'm making a comparison between Nox and the Bluestacks N stable version. So let's get started. <laughs> starting this video I have to tell you that I used the same resolution and same hardware setting for both of these emulator. So firstly we're gonna test out PUBG on both of these emulator. Now when you look at it nicely uh, you can see that the blue stacks is running it very nicely you can see the frame rate is uh, much better maybe you can't see the frame rate but it feels much more smoother in uh, blue stacks but in Nox the mouse works much better and it feels really really nice but I'm gonna say both of these emulator are not that great for PUBG at all so what I recommend you to do is to download Tencent which is actually an emulator for PUBG and it can only run PUBG actually so um, and Tencent is a good emulator for PUBG it feels like playing on PC so the next game we have for this test is Guns of Boom. Now this is really really a nice game and very popular among uh, you know many FPS gamers nowadays and it's a really really nice game. The graphics is very high and um, on Blue Stacks we can see that it is running really nicely. The control is working very nicely. It feels like playing in PC and you can also play it on full screen and it feels like you're playing Call of Duty. Now unfortunately Nox cannot run it. No matter how much I try, it always starts when loading. It used to work uh, nicely before, but for some reason, the new Nox cannot run it at all. Now, in this test, we have Asphalt Nitro. This game is very high end, and Blue Stacks cannot run it very nicely. Uh, we can we can see um, some lags in here, but on Nox, it is running very smoothly. The visual effects looks much more nicer in. Um, in Nox, so I'm gonna say Nox is better at playing this game. Now this time we're testing out Asphalt Extreme. Now this game is uh, also high-end and you can see that both of them are running it very nicely but in Blue Stacks you can actually see the performance is more jaw-dropping. But uh, sadly you can see black borders here which is very disappointing for me and that's why I don't think Blue Stack is doing great. Next one is FIFA World Cup. Now in this game, Blue Stacks do a good job here because it can run it very nicely. The FPS doesn't seem to be bad at all and the graphics is running very nicely. But um, unfortunately I can't play it on Nox because I can't put my name at all. No matter how many, how many uh, attempts I take, I, no matter how many times I reset my input settings, but I cannot put my name so I can't play the game in Nox at all. So let's come to the final decision. Now both of these emulators are great, they do a great job, but I think you need both of these emulators and test them out for, uh, you know, and find out which one is great for you. Because uh, Nox is good for some games and Bluestacks is good for some games, they are both uh, good for different cases. So you can't just compare both of them because in, uh, sometimes Nox do better than Bluestacks and sometimes Bluestacks do better than Nox. So I'm going to have to say you have to find out which one is better for you, which one you're going to use and it all depends on you. So I hope you guys liked the video, if you did give a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.